So hi guys, welcome back. So my name's Kuhn. Um, as some of you may know, I'm going through the game at the moment, Warcraft at the moment, and um, trying to go through and collect everything. So we're on a mission of a 12 class, what we're calling All The Things Challenge, where we're using the add-on All The Things to kind of go through and track our progress as we, you know, collect stuff throughout the game. Um, this is This is inclusive of transmogs, of course, mounts, pets, titles, um, achievements just everything there's a little bit of a small list here in the next video or so I'll go through and kind of highlight why we're tracking some things why we're not tracking other things but uh, today I, I kind of wanted to go through and at the very least kind of define and maybe maybe provide an example of the differences between debug mode and what we're calling unique mode um, so unique mode is what I, I go through and I um, collect stuff with in the game. Essentially what it is, is in short, it's a it's going through and finding whatever appearance or, or uh, mount that I don't have. Once I get it, I'm done. However, on um, I think I said debug mode earlier. I meant completionist mode. So the difference between unique mode and completionist mode. Um, we'll touch over what debug mode is, but right now we're going to say this there we go. We'll, we'll color that orange. Or not. Let's try that one more time. So we'll go through and we'll color that there um, completionist mode. And kind of go through and provide an example of what someone who is completing this on completionist mode is versus someone who's going through and doing it on, like myself on unique mode. So if we slide over, let's pretend that there's three bosses, right? These three bosses drop three helms that look completely absolutely identical um, another way of thinking about this is like say for example a paladin tier piece you have the headpiece for prot you have it for ret and maybe you have it for holy as well kind of same thing here you have the helm of fire helm of water helm of air they drop from three different bosses and they're exactly the same so if we were doing this on unique mode which I guess we are um, once we pick up any one of these three so we can get it to drop from the first boss the second boss or the third either one of these helms um, we're done we don't have to go through and hunt down the the same appearance essentially just a different helm by name um, from a different boss so that's kind of what we're doing here um, if we were doing this on completionist mode we would have to go through pick it up you know, one week on this. If it's a lucky week, we get all of them to drop, right? We go through and, and we get all of them to drop and we're done. Um, however, for us here, given the fact that there's so many items in game, um, it's not really, in my opinion, it's not really that essential to go through and get the same appearance. Now, again, there's no wrong way to collect pixels in a video game. If someone wants to go in and do this on completionist mode, more power to them. If they want to do it on debug mode, again, more power to them. But for the sake of practicality and and a little bit more relatability, I'm just doing this on unique mode. So I wanted to go through and at least explain the, the you know the differences a little bit. Um, similar to what we were talking about with the paladin headpiece or the tier piece, is that if we get a tier token to drop we're going to have to get three to drop because we're going to have to get the one for prot for ret for um holy and um that would be again on completionist mode so i was thinking to myself a, a good way to kind of um maybe explain this in, in real life terms and the the only thing i can think of is like a shirt right so if we're going through and let's say we want to collect all four shirts and we're doing this on unique mode you know, all we want to do is just have one of each, and we're good. Um, we would go to Amazon, order all four, and that's it. However, someone who's doing this on debug mode, if these were all named differently, uh, you know, you have Cookie Monster 1, Cookie Monster 2, 3, 4, um, they would go in and essentially buy all of these. And what that does is <clears throat> it goes through and it just makes, like I said earlier, a little bit more practical a little bit more um, relatable um, the scenario that that we would ultimately come into is let's say for example if I was doing this on completionist mode and I go through and I get all these shirts here everything from Walmart Target and Argus um, 
if I go through and I get all these shirts, <clears throat> at that point in time, I still need to go in and pick up these down here on on you know completionist mode. So we go through. There's no mystery there. We go through and we collect that. However, what ends up eventually happening is, let's say on on this mode, when we already have all of these at the moment, if we go through and we collect this shirt next, the the ultimate gamer, the the yellow shirt, we're essentially done as a you know as someone who's going in with unique mode. We're done. We have all the appearances. We can transmog to any one of these that we want. We're set. Um, at that point in time then you have the the kind of the perplexing dilemma of um, before we get to that point <clears throat> do we pick up this shirt or do we go through and we run through Amazon or you know we'll call the the stores here instances do we run through Amazon to try to get all of these shirts again or do we just try to chase down this one that we need here so that's that's kind of where your um, what do we call it your paradox I guess comes from with completionist versus unique um, there's no like I said right or wrong way it's just one of those things where it's you know what what someone's after um, kind of going back and touching in on account mode and uh, debug mode so debug mode is simply going in and saying all of these check marks over here everything's checked we, we want to go through and we're going to collect everything in the game um, regardless of whether it has a different name or whatever the case may be it essentially negates all your filters and says we're collecting everything regardless account mode is taking into account into account all of the characters that you have so you know let's say for example if I if I clicked on this um, while I'm on my DK it would show me whether or not I've collected stuff say like a paladin tier piece or maybe a priest tier piece um, account mode's really good for kind of honing in and, and figuring out what do, let's say if I'm looking at Siege of Orgrimmar or something along those lines, and I'm trying to figure out which class I should run through there. Um, account mode's really good for kind of providing that feedback and information. It, it allows me to say, okay, well, it looks like I need, I don't know, four shaman pieces and two warlock pieces, so we'll go on our shaman. So it's, you know, it's it's one of those things where it's just, it's there to provide more information. Essentially, whenever we're looking at the spreadsheet we have, I do run this on account mode, but I keep track of it on unique mode. Um, so what what I, what that means is like we're going through here and we keep track of all of this with the Death Knight, and we know that the Death Knight on unique mode um, as just single focus tracking on him not a, you know with it not checked on account mode um, we're just going through and we're at almost 90 percent of everything from all of the dungeons and raids in warcraft so that's where we stand with that and then we do that again with the warriors so collectively we're going through and we are on um you know trying to go through with a 12 class all the things challenge and tracking everything it's just that in order to kind of hone in where we need to go on a particular character, I just monitor his progress on that particular character. So hopefully that makes sense. I hope I'm not spinning my wheels too much, but I did want to kind of go through and provide a little bit more insight, a little bit more information. Um, we could go through and, and take a look in-game whether or not um, that's needed, but this just kind of serves as a little bit of a segue of, of information necessary for, you know, collecting all the things and, and um, providing, I guess, a little bit of insight of where we're going. So again, hopefully that go, we go through and that makes a little bit more sense. So with that, guys, that's it for here. I appreciate you uh, watching the stream and <laughs> watching the, uh, the video. And I will see you guys tomorrow. All right. Y'all take care.